Hello, today I'm going to show you how to update Sprint Taskboard. So, let me open my project, let me go to Boards and to Sprints, and I will be on current Sprint. You can see that Mary is overallocated and Paula is overallocated. So, let's go here. You can see that I can go through stories and all the tasks, but I want to go through uh, people. And let's go to Paula. Okay, Paula has three tasks. They are all ready and they are not uh, yet active. Six hours plus 16 hours is 30, uh, 22 hours. Eight hours is 30 plus 40 is 70 hours. So basically, Paula has remaining work 70 hours. Okay. But you will see that here Paula has these 70 hours, but for 64 hours is left. And by that means, I mean that she has available in this sprint 64 hours. So this will change, this picture will change each and every day. If you see on the top, you will see that sprint start date was June 5th. And if you see here, we are today 6th of June. So one day has passed. So since it is from 5th to 16th, how many days is left for, for Paula? How do we come to this 64 hours? First of all, let's go to capacity. And we will see that Paula is supposed to work 8 hours per day, but one day is non-working day for the whole uh, for the whole team. Now let's back go back to taskboard and let me show you calendar. So basically today is 6th of June. How uh, many hours Paula has? This 6th, 6th of June 8 hours. 7th of June 8 hours. 8th of June is uh, non-working day, 9th of June, and then the whole next week. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, okay, 6, 7, 8 days. 8 days are available. Yesterday is not available anymore. 8 days multiplied by 8 hours by for Paula lead us to 64 hours. So, it means two things. Either Paula is really overallocated. Either Paula didn't uh, didn't edit her tasks. So let's say that yesterday Paula was working on this task. Okay, and after that, that she finished this task. But it is not sorry. It is not seen here. So what should Paula do before? the day starts. We usually do it by daily stand-up meeting. Everyone in my team is supposed to edit and put the proper times in her or his uh, uh, tasks. So Paula should, if she is finished, should say, okay, I completed, let's say, five hours and I did the whole job in five hours and I don't have any remaining hours. She can uh, leave here blank or put zero. I will leave it as blank. Okay. And I will set and close. Now you see Paula has right enough work to do. Let's go back here. She fulfilled six hours. Now let's go back and let's say that Paula since she worked five hours, then she then she, she take another task, this one, okay? 
Okay, so you will see that Paula worked, for example, three hours here. I put three hours completed and remaining will be 13 hours. And I will put save and close. Now Paula has more work, uh, uh, more work, <clears throat> less work to do than she is available. Why? Because she now has 61 hours of 64 which are available. And you will see tomorrow she will not have 61 hours, uh, uh, 64 hours available. She will have 64 minus 8 which lead us to 56 hours. So basically uh, you should update your tasks each and every day if you want to have a current uh, a current situation which is uh, which shows the real situation the real states of tasks but <clears throat> now let me show you this i will put it back i will say remaining is six completed is zero save and close and i will put here completed is uh, remaining is 16 completed is zero save and close and i will put it here back why because this doesn't show real situation why paula should test something but how did paula be able to how is paula able to test a login application if login application is not already done so let's see what is all about login uh, 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 login uh, uh, login uh, environment what should be done for login for that i will i will switch here okay and i will say story and i can see that before paula can test a login application she uh, uh, design should be done and user uh, create the user database so should also be done so obviously paula was not able to uh, to fulfill this task but let's say that mary finished design a login screen okay or or much better when you are on daily you should ask okay people how how was your day yesterday and let's say that uh, uh, John says I worked on create a customer invoicing database I have nothing remaining so I finish it but I finish it in four hours okay saving close since this since this is closed I should open this and I will say okay this task is resolved okay and when someone confirms it okay let's say that someone confirms it that is okay we can put this task to closed okay now that is for john and john spent five hours and john can say okay i create i uh, i spent three hours here and I know that I need only six hours for this create the user base task, and it is on it is active. So you will see that John has create has finished his task create a customer table, and he has six hours left for create the user's database, and it is on active state. Now mary maybe mary has finished her design login screen okay so i will say remaining is zero and everything is completed but also i should put it in the right status because if it is if if this task is here and this task is let me show you closed it's done it cannot be in the status which is ready it should go through active status then it should be worked on then on result status and afterwards in closed status okay 
So this is about Mary. How much time did Mary spend? Three. And she worked, let's say, eight hours. And she spent five hours here. But she says, well, since this customer screen is little, uh, is is not so complicated. I will need 16 hours, okay? Rema remaining hours. So the total hours which she will spend is 5 plus 16, which is 21. Now I will save a closed, okay? Let's go to Paula. Paula didn't have anything to test, so we should throw something out or we should wait until tomorrow since Paula will be able to test a login application. But you see, the user's database is done and the designer login screen is done. Let's go to Peter. Peter can say, make, make a login application that he started to work on this task. He fulfilled here eight hours and let's say he needs two hours more. So, save and close, and you will see that Peter now, uh, let's say his work, he, uh, prog he progress faster than it was estimated. So who is in problem here? The Paula is only in the problem here because yesterday she didn't do anything be because nothing has been done. I will leave it until, let's say, tomorrow because Maybe, maybe, just maybe, a uh, login application will be done and Paula will fin finish it uh, uh, faster. Or maybe, just maybe, because we are on 6th, maybe the, uh, uh, John will finish it today, let's say in, in an hour and so, and he, uh, he will uh, inform Paula that she could start testing and tomorrow we will have different situation. So basically what I want to say is be careful that each and every day before your daily meeting, you have two things for each and every task in a right way, done in right way. And that those two things are put the task in a right state so it cannot be done with remaining work, nor it can be, uh, uh, you can put some work in my case, which are, which is done and that the, uh, the task is not in active state. Okay. That is first thing. So put the task to the right status, no matter which status do you have. And the second thing is keep updated remaining work. Why? Because only with remaining work, you will get here on the right side on work details, the right information, information which is accurate and which is truthful. Okay, hope this helps. Thank you very much. See you very soon.